Hi everyone, welcome back. I am very excited to uh, show you how I prepare for a new 12 week year cycle inside of Tana. If you're new to the 12 week year framework, it's a simple goal setting method where you identify the goals that you want to complete in a 12 week period of time, along with the key tactics that you need to do on a daily and weekly basis to achieve each of those goals. And today, that's what we're going to set up inside of our 12-week year TANA planner. The first thing that I do before jumping directly into the planner is I go to this strategic planning section and I open this up in a new panel. And what this allows me to do is it lets me identify my goals so each of my goals I have here, goal number two and goal number three. It allows me to identify my goals as well as the, I write this little goal importance, why it will be meaningful for me to achieve this goal. And it allow, also allows me to brainstorm and research my tactics. Uh, if you are doing the 12 week year for the first time, you'll kind of realize that it's almost like there are two types of goals. There are some goals that you know exactly what you need to do on a weekly basis to get to the end point. And then there are other goals where it's a matter of you have to do some planning, you have to do some researching to know, okay, what are the most important things that I need to be focusing on to get this goal done? So that is what I have done here in the strategic planning section. Uh, this takes me about 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, once it's all done, it's very, very quick to just enter everything into the planner. You're not kind of just wondering, hmm, is this a good goal that I should be working on? Or is this goal worded properly? Are these tactics appropriate? You have everything in one place and it's just a matter of transferring it over. So once the strategic planning is done, I'm going to head over to this plan tab that we are on here and I'm going to create a new cycle. For me, this is the second 12-week um, year cycle. So I'm going to apply the 12-week year cycle super tag. I'm going to click on this just to have a uh, to zoom in on the page and I'm going to begin filling in each of these fields. Now, the duration is essentially your start date and your end date for your 12 week year cycle. For me, mine would have started actually last week, Monday, and I'm going to click an end date, which will be August 26th for me. So that's my 12 week year period. Next, I'm going to begin entering my goals. And all I have to do here is uh, really uh, copy and paste each of my goals in. I can tag it as a goal right away, but I'm just going to copy and paste in my three goals for this cycle. What I'll do here, since we are already in the goals field, is I'm gonna uh, copy and paste in my goal importance for each one as well. Once my goals are all in, as well as the goal importance, I can go ahead and begin adding in tactics. Because I've set the goal super tag, so what I've done is if I go to the super tag configuration and I go to advanced options, you'll see that the default child super tag for the goal super tag is actually tactic. And what this is going to allow me to do is once I have my cursor in this child super tag for this goal, once I start typing, you can see that the node is already tagged as tactic. And so what I can do is copy from my planning page and paste these uh, over here. Now you see that because I used paste as command and V, uh, it's uh, tagged tactics as hair and hair. So what I actually want to do, I'm going to undo that and uh, I'm going to copy. And instead of using the command V pasting, I'm going to use uh, just command shift and V so that I just get a copy of these as opposed to the making a reference of the nodes on this side. And from here, I can go ahead and uh, apply my tactic 
tag. All right, so now that my tactics are here, I can see that each of the goals are also filled in for each of these tactics. And I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of my goals. All right, so now I have my tactics in for each of my goals here as you can see so i'm going to go ahead and collapse each of these and move on to the weekly plans field to easily add my weeks i just have a note here with a list of weeks 1 to 12. i am going to copy those and in the weekly plans i'm going to command shift and v copy those across and i will also tag all of these as a weekly plan the next thing that I want to do is apply my uh, or schedule my tactics for each of my weeks. Now, I don't see the point of doing this for every single week. You know, life happens and things change. So I do this on a week by week basis um, to make this process easier. I'm actually going to create search nodes for each of my goals um, and they're going to be search nodes based on the tactics. So command k and i want to find all nodes with the tag tactic and once i click enter i'm going to go into the query editor and what i want to do is essentially filter based on the goals that i have up here so i'm going to press the greater than sign i'm going to type in cycle goals and then uh, let's see my first goal is the gym challenge so this is that goal and then i'm going to click run once and here i can see i have all of the tactics for that goal i'm going to repeat this for each of my other uh, goals so this is uh, i'm just going to copy this text all right so this is my first goal goal number one and I'm going to go ahead and as I said I'm going to repeat that and the main thing that I want here is I want to view this as a table all right I can actually close down this planning panel now and give us more space and I'm going to uh, set the content width to full just so that we have the maximum amount of space to see this table. So, uh, yes, uh, what I can do from here is I can hide this column and it's gonna allow me to quickly add in the weeks for each of these goals. And I'll show you how that works in a bit. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and create these tables for my remaining goals. All right, so now you can see I have each of my goals and I have this little dashboard that I can go ahead and add my weeks. Um, and this becomes very important, especially when you have recurring tactics. For example, this first goal is a recurring tactic sort of goal. I'm going to need to have these three for every single week of my 12 week year cycle and i can go ahead and uh, quickly um, do that planning out here but for the purposes of this video i'm going to apply week one and as you can see i don't have the actual duration in for the week yet so i can go ahead and uh, fill that out in the duration here so my week one would have started on the third and it would have ended on the ninth all right so that would have been my first week and then uh, my second week i can add the duration as well which is actually the present week here so uh, for the purposes of this i can uh, actually just copy this and uh, highlight paste it moving along here and i can go ahead and paste that for each of the other tactics for my goals so let's say for this second week i want to update my portfolio um, that would be week two that would be this week right here and once i click on this and i click copy i can apply any other goals um, that 
or any other tactics for this week. So let's say for this week, I want to go ahead and uh, also um, review this for the exam. Then I can apply week two. And uh, that is one way that I can assign tactics. I can go up to my weekly pan and uh, right here, all I need to do is adjust the correct grouping view for each of these weeks. Um, so I can go to view options, then go to group. And while cycle goals is highlighted, you'll see that you have the option to show all of the tactics for that particular goal. And I can uncheck the ones that are not set. And this is how we can see now that we can go ahead and check off our tactics for each of the goals. Now, the only thing is that you will have to just, as you're setting up the planner the first time, go to your groupings and make sure that you have uh, each of these set up for each of the goals. Um, and this is how it would look um, in this use case. The last thing that I do uh, inside of TANA for my 12 week year cycle setup is I like to pin this node. Um, so I like to pin it to my sidebar. So I'm just going to pin to sidebar. And that means the node is going to show up in my pin nodes. So cycle two. Um, I can also add uh, an icon and uh, what I will do is unpin cycle one, unpin from sidebar. So this just means that it's now very easily accessible for me to be able to plan my goals and my tactics as I go on. That is pretty much it for setting up the 12 week year planner inside of TANA. The last thing that I'll just go through quickly is kind of my routine. So on a Sunday um, before the week begins, so that's usually on a Sunday evening, I would do my weekly planning routine. And this is where I ensure that I schedule blocks of time to work on the tactics that I have set out. And it's really important for me to schedule these into my calendar because a lot of the times, if I don't, it does not get done. At the end of the week, I usually calculate my weekly score. So I count the total number of tactics. And uh, let me just show you where this is done. So here, what I would do is just count the total number of tactics. I just put the number here. The completed number, let's say in this case, it is two. And uh, then it's just a matter of calculating my weekly score. Throughout the 12 week year, I do have weekly accountability meetings. This is a, a weekly, usually 15 to a half an hour meeting that I have with a friend. And we kind of just go through our week, uh, the goals that we set, um, our scores, and uh, um, you know, give any, not necessarily advice, but feedback and propose any suggestions based on um, the previous week that we had. And that is pretty much it. That's how I prepare for a 12 week year inside of TANA. Uh, do leave a comment below if you are starting or currently in your 12 week year cycle.